Yes guys, welcome back to the Hashtag United channel. Sebby Boy here. Today, we are headed to Swindon. Now, I'm not in the playing squad today. I'm in the supporting squad. We're with the boys. We've got Wa, the White Kante, he's there. We've got LP, and we've got George. We're all going to Swindon. The lads are going off for our first pre-season game. Swindon Supermarine, a very, very decent non-league English football club. It's gonna be tough, but this is what it's all about now. Challenging ourselves, up in the ante, I can't wait to see how the boys get on today. And then, we're followed by England and Sweden. Afterwards, massive game. Don't quite know why I did a German accent for Sweden there, but we'll go with it. So, um, LP, let's get us to Sweden, mate. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'm gonna use that. You didn't go, wow. Wow. Right. Lewis, eh, Lewis, you don't need to actually insert uh, the meme here, I'll just do it for you. Do it. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to Swindon. So we've now just arrived. And I think we've taken for granted how it feels to walk, haven't we? My legs need to get working again. Do you approve of my driving, George? Uh, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, that sounds like you well, don't well, approve. We saw, saw two crashes, so... We did, did see end? two crashes that yeah, we weren't oh. involved with right behind us on the M25. Always it was in the rear view mirror. I don't know if there's a coincidence there. And I've now stepped onto the carpet. Amazing. Just brush your hand through it. The consistency along. And it's currently being watered at the moment, as you can see here and here. Sammy, talk to me about this pitch. Look at it. Beautiful, mate. I have no excuses today. I can't blame a bobble. I can't you blame You can't. Anything. And neither um, can the keepers, though, by the way. Neither can the keepers. So. so you're more than welcome to lay one back. Well, knowing me, I'll give them back about neck height anyway. <laughs> so don't normally use the surface, but lovely, lovely facilities here. They've got the dome at the back, which is brand new as well, we've been told. Yep. Um, Amazing, mate. Buzzing. And also, in regards to the opposition, Swindon, I've heard that they've recently just got promotion. So, yeah, hard. I'm calling this probably going to be the toughest game of our pre-season. Um, heard they're very good side, like I said, just been promoted. Um, so, it's going to be a tough one for us today. But hopefully, with all the new boys we've added to the team, um, we can stick together and hopefully uh, get a job done, hopefully. Jacko, standing in his usual home in between the sticks. How are you feeling in regards to the pitch and this Swindon opposition? It looks lovely. I played here um, a good few years ago now. It looks tremendous. I don't remember it being this good. It's lovely. Different, we're back on grass again. We've got to, uh, we're going to have to adjust this season. Yeah. Obviously, we're used to just playing on artificial pitches permanently. So, uh, might have to actually dig the studs out at some stage this season. Just had a chat with Sam Adams and he's just justified the fact that he'll be more than happy to play some back passes to you purely because the surface is fine and it's going to be up to you to deal with it. I'll be telling him not to. <laughs> if in doubt, stick it out. 100%. Don't give the jack -o. No, I don't mind playing on this. It's, um, yeah, that, that's what we're here for at the end of the day. We got, we got a, we're starting again, really. It's um, starting afresh and, uh, and finding our feet and playing. Yeah, we need to play. We, we want to play pre-season. That's what it's all about. I'm sure Devs will, will be um, pushing it on us as well to play some football, start from the back, build it up as opposed to our um, usual. What used to be our yeah. tactic. Of, Obviously, uh, on the topic of Devs, um, like, like you have just said, we did used to sort of play the strategy with having Ryan and Dan up front and sort of channeling it and getting it forward. Obviously, Devs is very technical yeah. and runs by a lot of fitness, holding the ball, playing from the back, like you said, holding possession. We, we were structured in, in the way that we set up as a team and we set up as a unit and we knew what our strengths were, but we didn't really um, over-elaborate when it came to football. Um, we kind of, we was always resolute, uh, let's face it, Christ, we nicked game after game in the last five minutes by having legs up top with yeah. Ryan running people down and, and DB banging goals for fun. So yeah, It I could mean, probably still work sometimes, but obviously going into this non-league, it's, it's going to be a different... We're, we're, <laughs> whatever it takes to win a game, you, you, you do. But um, yeah, as, as I say, in pre-season, we'll be pushing to play football because that's what, that's what pre-season's there for. Um, obviously, there'll be a lot of new lads, new faces... And there'll be a big turnaround of players. Some some won't make the cut, it's just the way it is. But yeah, it'd be nice to set up and play play some football. I was gonna say play properly. <laughs> but winning games is, is paramount. But yeah, to play football as well at the same time would be great. Daniel Daniel Laggi. Daniel Daniel Laggi. What are you saying? Excited? I'm looking forward to it. Calm collected and ready. I can tell. In the zone. Maverick off. 
Yeah. Talk to me. He's got his shirt on. Ready to ready to do the business. I'd promise anything this time because last time we go to Yeah. Oh, he fills it out though, look at this. He's loving that, look, he's loving it. <laughs> Guessing him up. Richie Beck. Yes, mate. Man Mountain, what are you saying? It's been a while. Yeah. Sun's out, gun's out. Are you ready? Yeah, I am, to be fair. Pre season started well. Good to uh, get the first game underway. Uh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. And what do you think about Swindon Supermarine? They've obviously just been recently promoted. Yep. They've got a strong side. It's probably going to be our toughest pre season game yet. What do you reckon? Um, I think we can hold our own. I think they play the same same level as Beaconsfield who we played before. Um, so I think we can hold our own. I don't I don't think we're going to get battered. I'd be surprised if we if we get anything out of it, but I don't think we'll be humiliated. Lee, I have to say, mate, you are looking double brown, mate. Thanks, mate. Nice little sun tan there. Obviously working out in the sun recently. Yeah, of course, always working out in the sun. Anyway, talk to me a little bit about Swindon Supermarine. What's your thoughts? What's my thoughts? It's going to be a tough, 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 tough game, but nothing too much for hashtag. I don't know. The result is going to be very close. I don't think we're going to get um, beat. Mm. It's going to be very, very tight. I'm, I'm, I'm saying a draw, but it's just it's, pre season is all about fitness, getting, getting the right way of playing. Testing the water. Yeah, just just get, get playing good. Just make sure the boys are ready so when the season does come, we are winning games. So. It's just, it's just about fitness at the end of the day. And Ellis, he's been waiting to get into the vlog. He's got his hashtag shirt on. Hopefully one day you'll be uh, actually wearing that yeah. one in the game. But what's your thoughts on Swindon Supermarine? Yeah. Um, I've heard that they're one league lower than what my dad coached in. Okay. So good level, good level compared to level that we're going in. And uh, they just got promoted. So sounds like a tough match for hashtag. So yeah, but hopefully hashtag, hashtag can pull through. And if I could say to you right now, Alice, mm. give me a prediction, what are you going to tell me? 2-1 hashtag. Wow, that's a bold move. It's right, so I think we've given them nicknames uh, so to be played out on the tunnel. Follow, so listen out. Uh, their job keeper to start with, Jamie Jackson, otherwise known as Jacko. Zachy Clark, do you think that they're going to call Scott Willard the Hashtag Academy's best finisher? I hope not. Uh, I hope they don't. No, Ricky really. Evans. He's playing, where is he? Left back, he will be a bit. 28 for Hashtag will be Alex Dagnowski. Decent for him. Stuck in traffic. Well played. Alex, Alex Dagnowski. Yeah, then at 29, uh, apparently his nickname is Messi. Uh, no, you don't say that. Just George Valentine Messi on the uh, anyway, No, no, you don't do that. Valentine. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. Very good, mm -hmm. this lad next year. Mm -hmm. Then at 32, we've got Tekka's Guru. Yeah. Otherwise Debatable. Known as That's just why I think. I mean, we saw you at the crossbar. And at 34, yeah, we'll I can do it. Might as well call me Tekka's Lugu. Lugu. I didn't say I was Tekka's Lugu. I didn't say I was Tekka's Lugu. I didn't say I was Tekka's Lugu. At 12, it's Wes Tanza. White Kante. Why can't I? Yes! Exactly. He said this is fantastic. I bet he's happy with that. Very good. He's done their own work. He's laughing. That's me. Also, Zach Shell. Lee Hurst in the 18th. Oh. <laughs> 23 is Maverick Gore. And at 13 is Daniel Adeji. Adeji? Okay. Rachel. Right. Daniel oh, Adeji. That's Daniel it. Adeji. <laughs> that's it. From now on, the whole season, he's known as Nothing Adeji right. to me. So there we go. There's Daniel the DJ. Adeji! Adeji! Adeji. What do you know about hashtag? Yeah, I mean, listen, obviously you've got a great following um, and it's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, I think obviously you've now entered into the non-league pyramid, which is really good. Um, and it's, it's a great opportunity for us to obviously see what you're like today. Um, and we're really looking forward to the game. So, yeah, it'd be good. And who can we uh, be looking out for in terms of danger men on your squad? We've got a very good striker called Josh Parsons. He'll be playing number 10 today. He's a small player, very lively, very capable of scoring goals and got a great touch and good player, yeah, decent. Cheers, thank you. You've worked hard in your sessions, boys. You've worked ever so hard in your training sessions. Now's an opportunity to see the football in a real game situation. Good opportunity, opportunity for me to see you. We're a five defensively. Offensively, we must join in with Richo. There is no worse job in the world than a centre forward that doesn't get appropriate support. Where we can, let's play. Full backs, can you show for Jacko when it goes into him? Show for him. If it's not on, then we step. Don't be taken by surprise. Don't not expect the ball, okay? Enjoy yourselves, let's go. Come on. 
All right, guys, how you doing? Spencer here reporting for duty at Hashtag's first official pre-season game of the non-league journey. It's Saturday the 7th of July and we're going up against Swindon Super Marine. It's a beautiful location for a pre-season friendly in the countryside just outside Swindon. The dome behind the goal is the Swin Dome. It's a great indoor facility officially opened by Jeff Hurst on Sunday. New manager Devs is going to be fielding a blend of original hashtaggers, some of the Sunday League players, some academy faces and some new faces as well that he'll be trying out, including the newly appointed assistant gaffer Neil Richo Richmond and some experienced non-league players such as Aaron Couch and Ricky Evans. Now, Jacko and AJW, the goalkeepers, are going to be sharing the captaincy over pre-season, but Devs has made it clear the captain will be an outfield player and the new captain will be officially announced before the season proper. Today's squad is short of a few regulars due to injury, holidays, and of course, the World Cup in Russia. But let's take a look at the starting lineup. Jamie Jacko Jackson is the skipper for the day. He's in goal. We've got a four-man defence. Scott Willard, a left-back. Jack Harrison, moving further back into centre-back alongside Sam Adams. Alex Daknovsky at right-back. In central midfield, we've got Tekas Guru. And we've got one of the new faces trying to get himself a spot in the hashtag team, Ricky Evans. Out on the left, we've got George Valentine, a.k.a. Messi. On the right, he needs no introduction. It is Ryan Adams. Behind the striker, we've got Aaron Couch, another new face. And up front, the new assistant manager, Richo. On the bench, that leaves the likes of Sam Ecott, Rich Beck, the White Kante, Wes Tanser, Zach Clark, Lee Hursett making his first appearance in the first team squad, Maverick Gore also making his first appearance, and Daniel Adji. So no leading goal scorer Dan Brown for this game. Right, the two teams walking out onto the pitch now. It's a beautiful day here in Swindon, touching 30 degrees almost. And it is Swindon Supermarine who are going to get us underway in their red kit in front of this lovely crowd here in Swindon. It's a lovely day for it, you might say. Uh, number three on the ball here from left back is just going to play it across to their skipper at centre back. Big test coming up here for Hashtag. The result is not that important in pre-season, but Richo's going to get the ball quite early here. And it's a ball from Aaron Couch looking to play in George, who is offside. But good energetic start from Hashtag. OK, the big keeper there for Swindon Supermarine there. He's an absolute mountain of a man. And our man mountain is, of course, starting on the bench today. He'll be coming on at some point. It's a ball from defence. For Swindon, down this left-hand side, number 11 has got in front of Alex Daknovsky. Sam Adams tries to close it down. The ball gets into the box. It's decent play from Swindon, but Jack Harrison makes a decent block tackle there. Playing in centre-back today. New position for Jack at hashtag. One that he's used to playing in other teams. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. Dev's obviously seen something in Jack that he likes at the back. Swindon, though, looking dangerous here as they play the ball across the midfield to this man, number 11, again on the left, who's causing problems for hashtag. Silky footwork gets the ball in again. But Jacko's going to come and claim that. We can't let him put too many balls into the box, though. Eight minutes gone so far here. Number seven now looking to get past Scott Willard. And again, the Swindon players have got decent technique and they're playing at a high, high level. So I expect this to be a real, real challenge for Hashtag. And speaking of challenges, Jack Harrison's put one in on the player there, which the ref has deemed a foul. So it's going to be a free kick for Swindon. Hit with a left foot against the wall and chance for George to clear it now. He wins the header. And Aaron Couch is going to come and get it closed down by two Swindon players. And eventually, it is going to go off for a hashtag throw-in. Okay, Swindon Supermarines number eight on the ball here. Plays it to number two, who goes down this right-hand side. Swindon having most of the ball in the opening exchanges here. And we're going to try and get the ball off him, but we're letting him get inside here. Daknovsky gets the ball, but loses it again. Number four with a chance. Hits the shot. Oh, and the keeper was stranded there. Jacko wouldn't have made it if it was on target. It's a little bit of a disguised shot, but luckily for Hashtag, it was wide of the post. Daknovsky now throws the ball down the right-hand side to Ryan Adams, who's holding people off very well. We know Ryan Adams is a good player. He finds Tekka's Guru, hits the ball very cleanly indeed. Unfortunately, it was down the middle of uh, the Swindon goal. Okay, Jack's playing a ball from the back towards Richo, who's the lone striker today. And it comes to Aaron Couch here, number 22, who's going to scoop it towards George. But the defender's going to come and well, sort of head that away. Only as far as Ricky Evans in the midfield, who finds George out on this left-hand side. The left-footed player who goes to Aaron Couch, who looks to have two decent feet here. And he's going to whip one in on the right foot towards Ryan Adams. Oh, and it's a goal. The first goal of the hashtag non-league chapter. And of course, it's scored by Ryan Adams with a beautiful glancing header. And a lovely ball in from the trialist. Aaron Couch looking to get himself a permanent transfer to Hashtag. What a header that is from Ryan Adams. Take a look at this. Superman header with the back of his head. Unbelievable stuff. So it's 1-0 to Hashtag against some very high-level opposition. 
But Swindon are going to look to get back in this game as they whip it in to the box. Cleared away. Only as far as another player in red. And it's going to fall to this man at the back stick. Oh, wow. It's gone in. He's absolutely scooped it there with a side foot lobbed effort. And it wasn't sure at first whether it was a shot or a cross. But you can see here he meant it. He knew what he was doing. And that's just a top, top finish, you have to say. One all. Swindon back in this now. And it's all even. 25 minutes gone so far. Swindon on the ball. It's their skipper. Playing it from the back. It's a good ball into the centre. And that's going to be a foul by Ricky Evans. Swindon going to take the free kick quickly here. What can they do? Working it over nicely to the right-hand side. And it's going to go up against Scott Willard. who's going to give a foul away. And it's going to be a free kick again for Swindon. Okay. Going to get whipped in now in the 27th minute. Can Swindon take the lead here? Good ball. Headed away. And again by Ryan Adams. And cleared eventually by Tekkers. Aaron Couch is going to try and get the ball before Swindon players do. But the Swindon players get there first. And it's going to be a throw-in. Speaking of throw-ins, Danovsky now looking for Ryan Adams. Cleared by Swindon head. Comes to number four. He's going to send it long towards the striker here. Number 10 has already got one goal to his name with that lovely lobbed effort. He's closed down by Sam Adams now. What can 10 do? Gets it back on his right foot. Plays it to this man on the edge of the box. Number four looking to get it on his left foot. Again, it comes to number 10 who's going to hit it. Oh, and it's a fabulous save from Jacko. Honestly, Jordan Pickford-like that was. It's a good shot again from the man who's already got a goal. Look at that save from Jacko. Well done, mate. Okay. Scott Willard on the ball. Tries to play it on his left foot towards George, but it's intercepted by a Swindon player. 38 minutes gone, approaching half-time. Jack Harrison trying to close this man down. He gets the ball in, though. Headed away by Sam Adams. Number 10 causing problems in the box. Number 11 tries the shot. Doesn't get hold of it, though. But Swindon mounting some serious pressure here with four. And Hashtag need to close them down and get the ball back because they're going to tire the Hashtag legs. First game, obviously, of pre-season. Fitness won't be as good as it will be later. Ball into the box. Headed. Oh, and it's a sort of similar goal to Hashtag's first goal, to be fair. Ball from a similar area. Played in. But there was no marking on this man in the box. Jacko's furious about that one. Great ball in from number three. But it was not closed down. Not tightly enough marked. And it is 2-1 to Swindon Supermarine, who've taken the lead against Hashtag late in the first half. Okay, Swindon on the ball here in the 40th minute. Looking good now as they've really got into this game and got comfortable in possession. Hashtag having to work really, really hard just to cover the ground needed to try and get this ball back. And it's number four for Swindon. Sending it over to this right-hand side. Scott Willard's got some work to do again against this right midfielder who's been given way too much time. Number four plays the ball over to number two now. Is he going to put it back into the box? Hashtag need to get this ball away from danger. Daknovsky looks to close his man down, but he's coming to no man's land. Oh, and it's another goal for Swindon. At the near post. And hashtag a free one down now. Just like that. Swindon have taken control. Number 11. The left midfielder with a nice left foot strike. Beating Jacko there. It's not all about the result in this first match. It's about the test. It's about the fitness. And hashtag are definitely being tested. Okay. Into injury time of the first half here. Daknovsky throws it towards Aaron Couch. Daknovsky's going to play it back to Sam Adams. Going to send it down the line. The ref's going to blow up, though, for the first half. 3-1, as it stands, to Swindon Supermarine. A great test so far for Hashtag. I'm sure Devs will have some words for the lads at half-time. Maybe some changes to make as well. And we'll come back out for the second half shortly. I'm really pleased. I'm really, honestly, I'm really pleased with, with, with your effort. Yes, we've made mistakes. Yes, there are lots of things we can improve and get better on, better at. But if there weren't, we wouldn't be playing the level we're playing at. All right, so... I'm not worried, as I told you before, I'm not worried about the result, I'm still not worried about the result. But there's things that I need to see us get better at and get better at quickly. Because when we've gone forward, and when we've managed to get ourselves forward, we've been a threat. We've scored, we've, we've, we've done okay. I can accept us not having much possession. I guess I, they, they, these are aside, as I said to you beforehand, they're aside that have just got promotion from their league, they play a good level of football. A good level of football. With that, it means they have to be fit. I expect them to be fitter than you. We're not going to be playing teams as good as these every week. Nowhere near. All right? Nowhere near. But that doesn't mean that we can't aspire to compete with them. That doesn't mean that we just roll back and go, oh, OK, they're better than us, so we'll take a, we'll take a slap around the chops. We've got to compete and get amongst them and be difficult and have them come off the pitch at the end of the game and go... Because I think, to be honest, I think the start, the first 25... Minutes, they've probably come off and gone at that water break. 
They're better than I expected them to be. They're better than I expected them to be. It's good. Keep going. Keep going. OK, hashtag United going to get us underway in this second half. Some uh, new faces. I should say some old faces that come off the bench at half-time. Rich Beck is in the middle of the defence. Wes Tanser in the middle of the midfield. Maverick Gore as well, who's played quite a bit for the Sunder League side, is also on for his first first-team appearance. And it's a ball down this right-hand side for hashtag. Trying to get back in this game. Currently 3-1 down. OK, we've got Scott Willard at left back. He's got a throw in here. He's going to send it down the line. Looking for Maverick Gore, but it is headed by Swindon. Wes Tanser trying to win it in the middle now. He goes to ground number 14 now with the ball. Swindon looking comfortable again in possession. And they're going to be comfortable with the scoreline as well. As Hashtag try and close this ball down and get it back. You can see Ricky Evans there doing some running. And now Rich Beck has got a job to do against number 15. Rich Beck just standing him off. He's going on his left foot, he's going on his right foot, back on his left foot, gets the shot away, but that's comfortable for Jacko. Meanwhile, Hashtag trying to get something going here, but the ball's given away by Richo. Maverick Gore, though, gets it back. Finds Aaron Couch on this right-hand side. Whips it in towards a Hashtag player. Can't find a blue shirt, though. Swindon can deal with that one. Swindon playing it around the back here, but taking some risks. Closed down by Maverick Gore. Gets it through to Tekka's Guru. Great first touch. Scoops it towards the back stick. Can't find a hashtag player just missing that end product right now. But hashtag making it hard for Swindon. Swindon, though, going to look to try and get a fourth goal in this match. Out on the left-hand side, Daknovsky with a tough challenge, and it's a free kick for Swindon. They're going to whip this one in. Can they get a head on it? They do. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. It's been given offside by the linesman. A bit of a let-off there for Hashtag. We need to work on their marking in the box. We've learned this now. Richo making it hard for the Swindon player there. And it comes to Ricky Evans, who does well to get the ball past his man here. And he's going to try and play it over to Aaron Couch, but it's one back by Swindon. Can Hashtag find a way to score a second goal? We've got Daniel Adji up front now, still looking for his first Hashtag goal in 11 aside. But it's Swindon in the box with a nicely clean hit strike. Just off target, though. Meanwhile, Maverick Gore heading it towards Tekka's Guru who has maybe been fouled there. The ref's not given it, though. Daniel Adji has got some work to do now to try and get the ball back, and he is doing that work. He's following his man deep into his own half from the striker position. It's great work from Adji. Oh, and it's a fantastic tackle. That's the work rate that will get you far in a hashtag shirt, Daniel. OK, 77 minutes on the clock. Still 3-1 to Swindon. Supermarine. Where's Tanta trying to close his man down? But he plays it into the box. Oh, and it's cleared off the line by Ricky Evans there. That was a definite goal if he wasn't there to clear it. Let's take a look at a replay. Going straight in the corner. Well done, Ricky, for clearing the ball. OK. Aaron Couch playing a ball into the box, looking for Daniel Adji. Hashtag just struggling to find the striker and get that important second goal for a confidence boost, if anything. There's still plenty of things to take from this game against the team. Three leagues above the league. Hashtag United are entering the non-league system at... And Swindon are showing their class here. Number 15 on the ball. Scott Willard closing down from right back position now. Ball into the box. Jacko comes and claims it. Jacko's going to take a goal kick now in the 83rd minute. Looking for a hashtag head. But it's Swindon again. Dominant in this half. Ball through to number 15. Who's going to shoot on his left foot. And he's... Oh no. Oh that's not what you want to see. It wasn't the most fiercely struck of shots. But Jacko's... Had a bit of a mare on that one, I'm sure he won't mind me saying, through his legs. And Jacko, if you're going to have a mare, have it in pre-season. You've actually had a really good game, to be fair. He's made some massive saves. He won't be happy with that one. We don't need to go on about it. Let him get out of his system at pre-season. I'm sure we won't see too many of them in the season proper. So he's a fourth goal for Swindon. And Hashtag deserve a little bit more from this game, I think. Aaron Couch, some lovely footwork here. He's going to put the ball towards the back stick. And again, just can't quite find the players. Wes Tanser is going to keep it on for Hashtag. Try and keep the move alive. He's going to go back now to Scott Willard, back in the left-back position. He can cross it on either foot, but he's going to play it inside to Lee Hersett, who's off the bench for his first appearance in a hashtag first-team shirt. Number 18, Lee Hersett puts it through to Daniel Adji. Oh, and if he just had a better touch, he'd been through on goal and I'd have backed Adji to score that all day long. Corner, though, in the last few minutes of the game. Can hashtag get one more goal? It's a decent delivery on the left foot of Aaron Couch towards Jack Harrison, who heads it in the back of the net. And it's another goal for hashtag. And, of course, the two goal scorers have been original hashtaggers, Ryan Adams and Jack Harrison. Both assists, though, for Aaron Couch. So had a very good game, you have to say. And Jack Harrison with a lovely header. Keeper could do nothing about it. So 4-2, plenty of positives to take from this match for hashtag United. Not long left now. We're into injury time. 
And you have to say, it's been a really good matchup for both Swindon and Hashtag. A great day out. Lovely weather for it. And uh, sure, we could have had a better result on the day. But we'll save the good results for the season proper. This is all about learning, finding out who our squad's going to be. You know, some of these guys might not make the step up for the, the first team squad in the real season. So some impressive displays from some of the new boys. Devs will have plenty of things to say about that match, I'm sure. 4-2, though, to Swindon Supermarine against Hashtag in their first ever non-league pre-season match. Well done, boys. Leave a comment down below with who you think had the best match for Hashtag United. Which of the new boys impressed you the most? And let us know how you think we're going to do in the league next season. Plenty more pre-season games to come. Some more new players to take a look at as well. The squad will change a lot from pre-season friendly to pre-season friendly before Devs works out his final squad. I'm so pleased with you today. So pleased. As I said to you before, that not interested in the result. Really not interested in the result. The fact that you've competed in these conditions against a side that are going to be playing, you know, several steps uh, above you. But we'll have far much more experience than, than we've got here at playing that level. I'm absolutely delighted. Application, the way you stuck it, it worked. And you deserve, you know, the second half, you've, you've, you've drawn the second half. And you deserved it. Absolutely deserved it. That's, that's, that's a good start. That's a good start. Yes, we've had to chase the ball. Did I expect to come here and ha have much possession? No. Did I expect to come here and get heavily beat? Possibly. But you haven't. You haven't. If you had been, I wouldn't have been worried. But the fact you haven't is just a bonus. So well done. So this is where we're going to end the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Big shout out to Swindon Supermarine for inviting us down for our first pre-season game. Yet their incredible facilities. Look at that. That's their dome that they've just built madness like i've said really 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 big test for us today i'm sure the squad and devs understand that but i hope you've enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like if you haven't already subscribe if you're new click that notification bell and as always i'll see you next time don't forget the hashtag it <laughs>